What's up everybody, I'm Noah from FunDog.com. You know, sometimes I do these unboxing videos and they kind of turn into like mini reviews because pull the phone out, start playing with it, and you can kind of quickly see what's going on and everything. In this case, this is going to be an unboxing video and that's it because this phone is just too much of a beast to really try to get into without spending some time for it first. It's the Samsung Epix, the SGH i907 for AT&T. Uh, you can sort of think of it as like the next generation of the Blackjack. I don't know if that's you know how they want you to, but it's a beast. It's a full-on Windows Mobile 6.1 professional phone. It's got 3G, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got QWERTY, it's got a touchscreen, and it's got an optical mouse. So let's, uh, let's unbox it, and then we're going to stop there. Because I don't want to make a fool out of myself trying to you know show you how this phone works and what I think of it without spending some time getting to know it. Because, uh, I mean, just look at all these specs on the back. All right, so here we go with the uh, SGH i907 Samsung, Samsung Epix for AT&T. Look at this. They even have an online tutorial when you open the box on the inside of the box. To get the most from your new smartphone, check out at and slash wireless tutorials. So uh, that's good. You know, it's good that they're doing more of these things. It means you can find out stuff from them and not ask me. <laughs> uh, inside the box, getting started again. I'm just kidding. You can ask me all the questions you want, but it's good that they have these guides so you can learn how to really use these things. Here's your getting started CD with the uh, Winmo 6.1 software. Here's your quick start guide. Inside here, you've got the phone itself, obviously. You've got a Samsung proprietary to three and a half millimeter headphone jack, it looks like. You've got a Samsung proprietary to USB data, data cable. When I say Samsung proprietary, I mean that that's the jack that's on the phone on the one end, you know. It's a special Samsung connector. So again, it's, a, it's the AC adapter, the charger, with the Samsung proprietary connector. It's not USB or micro USB or whatever, it's Samsung. Uh, extended battery comes in the phone. I mean, in the, in the package, in the phone. And then here's the phone itself, the Epix. It's thick, it's not skinny, you know, but it's handheld. It's a good, feels good. It's very lightweight, actually. It's, uh, it's plastic, not metal. Um, so far, I mean, it feels pretty solid. I have to use it, obviously, but it feels good. But the, you know, the plastic probably helps make it lightweight. Uh, if we take the back of it off here. Oh, there's a button. Duh. There's a slot for the extended battery. Fire it up. See if there's any juice in it. There might not be. Here's the sound some people like so much. And so, again, we're going to do a, uh, a review later. This is just the unboxing. But basically, you've got a couple things going on here. We'll start with the back because it's easier. Two megapixel camera, no flash, self-portrait mirror. It's an AT&T World phone. On the side, micro SD card slot. Here's your slot for the proprietary uh, Samsung jack, so your charger, your headphone adapter, all that kind of stuff. On the other side, you've got a rocker switch power switch um, and so now it wants me to tap the screen to get started here's a stylus, sorry I didn't show you that, here's the stylus slot collapsible stylus uh, it's got haptics, it vibrated when I did that The screen's fine, I just didn't read the part where it said to press firmly. That's the only problem. Um, all right, I'm not gonna go through this whole thing right now. I'll set it all up later. But basically what you've got is you've also got this optical mouse here, which uh, is on the Samsung Omnia. If you've seen that, you should check out our video on that. And so you can use the touch screen, um, and it's not meant, you know, it's, it's meant to be used with a stylus, obviously, it comes with it. You can use the touch screen or you can use this optical mouse, which uh, it's like a trackpad kind of thing. There's no actual pointer or anything. You just you move your thumb or your finger over it and it, uh, it's optical. It picks up what you're doing. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and then there's a button there also. So you can, uh, you can click on things. 
And of course it's Windows Mobile, so you've got your Windows Mobile key, your start menu, and again you can optical mouse it or you can uh, click on it. Uh, you've got two soft keys, you've got your call and hang up key that have a couple additional features there. You've got your Windows Mobile key, your OK key, and then a full QWERTY keypad. Um, the keypad, you know, is reminiscent the Samsung styling, like on the blackjack, with a slightly angled look. And, uh, you know, overall, I mean, again, it's a little bit hefty in terms of, not hefty, it's a little bit thick, but it's not hefty. It's actually quite lightweight, and it feels pretty good in the hand, has a good balance to it. And then you can definitely uh, two-thumb type here. Let's do a quick, uh, we'll get out of this, and... Let's go to Office Mobile, and we'll just do a quick keyboard test, and then we're done. I swear it. I think it's good. Oh, last letter. I muffed up. Lazy sheep. Oh! So there you go. It's the Epix, <clears throat> the i907 from Samsung and AT&T, Windows Mobile Professional 6.1 World Phone. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got 3G. It's got a 2 megapixel camera. It's got the GPS. Uh, what else does it say here? It's compatible with AT&T Navigator. It's compatible with uh, Video Share, Mobi TV, mobile music, mobile video, which they call CV. It's got uh, instant messenger clients built in, Bluetooth 2, you know, you name it, just about, it looks like it's got it. So uh, very, very interested to spend some more time with this and uh, check it out. And just so you know, it's got 256 megabytes of internal ROM and up to 150, 150 megabytes of external RAM and a micro SD card slot that officially supports up to 32 gigabytes. So there you go. It's the Epix. It's a touch screen. It's a, it's a mouse. It's instant messaging. It's QWERTY. It's a smartphone. It's everything you want. Maybe. From Samsung and AT&T. Behind the camera, I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. We'll have much more on the Epix very soon. So uh, stay tuned. See ya.